So today we're talking about scatter plots and residuals. So a residual is the difference between the y value for a point in a scatter plot and the value predicted by a linear model. Okay, so imagine you have a data set and you collected some data. This is the data of our actual example, okay? But then we also have a best fit line or a trend line, which is our linear model. What we want to know is how close is the actual data to our model? And that's what residuals measure. They measure how far is each point from what we predicted it to be based on a linear model, okay? So again, it's a way of showing how far away the actual data is from a linear model, okay? So let's do an example so it makes it a little clear. I'm gonna do it in two different ways and hopefully one way is more visual and one way is more, ma more mathematical and you can kind of connect the two, okay? So let's say we have some data. Here's our X values, here's our Y values, and let's say this is what we collected, so this is our actual data. Then we plotted that data on a scatter plot and we drew a, like a best fit line to represent that data, okay? So this line here represents our data and I wrote an equation for that trend line too, so that way we know mathematically what that line is, okay? So what a residual will measure is how far away from each data value it is from the line. For example, see this data value here? See how it's one above the line? We say it has a residual of one. And see this data value right here? It's one below the line, so it is a residual of negative one. This point right here is on the line, so its residual is zero. Again, this one's one below, so it's also negative one. And this one's one above the line, so it has a residual positive one. Okay? So it's kind of a way to say, oh, our data value's kind of close to the line, but how close? It's one above, one below. It's exactly on the line. It's below, it's above. So you can kind of see what we're doing. We're comparing how far it is from that actual line. Now, how would I do this mathematically? All right, well, we have this equation here, okay? So for each x value of our data, what we can do is plug that number into our equation to see what we get and compare it to what we actually got. And remember, this table represents what we actually got. So for example, one, if I plug one into this equation, one for x, one times one is one, plus two is three. So I, sh I predicted I got three, I would get three, but I actually got four. So my actual number was one above what I expected it to be. All right, and if you remember from our graph, remember that first dot? It was one above the line. Now let's do the second one for two. One times two is two, plus two is four. So I predicted it would be a four. Oh, but I got a three. So actually, I'm one below what I predicted it to be. And if you remember from our graph, look, it's one unit below the line of best fit. All right, now just do three. If I put in three here, one times three is three, plus two is five. And look, that's exactly what we got, five. So what we predicted and what we got were the same. So our residual is zero because it came out exactly. And again, remember, if you look on your graph, it actually lands on there. Now this is a very simple method because, uh, a simple example because you can see it. Usually your data is gonna be a lot bigger and your scale is gonna be wider and you're not gonna be able to actually count it off on the graph like this as easily. So you'd almost have to do it mathematically. All right, let's do the last two real quick. Four for X, one times four is four, plus two is six. Oh, but I got five. So I'm one below what I predicted. And then finally, five. Five times one is five plus two is seven. I predicted seven, I got eight, so I was actually one above what I predicted, okay? So that's how I do it mathematically. Here's how I could do it visually. And then the last thing I was gonna show you, is this is a residual plot. It's a way to actually show these numbers on the graph. So for example, for one, we had a positive one, so I find one, here's zero. So I'd get a positive one, I'd plot it here, and I just draw a little line to show that's eh, above. For two, it was one below. So for two, I draw it below. And I draw a little line to show. 
For three, it was zero. So it actually ends up there. For four, it was negative one. So four, negative one. And then for five is positive one. Five, positive one. There you go. So that's kind of a visual of how far away our data was from our prediction. And if you look at this, it looks very similar to this, right? It's almost this whole kind of picture right here, almost as if we took the line and just straightened it out. And that's kind of what it looks like right here. Okay? So that's what residuals are. And they basically tell us how close was our data to what we predict it, predicted it to be. Okay? So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe. But um, with that being said, good luck on your math. And I'll see you next time.